Welcome back to Dan's On Fandoms. I'm Dan. Following the initiation and execution of Order 66 by Darth Sidious, the Sith Order's great plan had finally come to fruition after a millennia of plotting, scheming, and hiding in the shadows. With the destruction of the Jedi Order and the reorganizing of the Republic into the First Galactic Empire, the Sith had finally bore the fruits of their labor that had spanned a millennium. Over a thousand years, the Sith orchestrated and worked tirelessly towards assuring the success of one goal, the Sith Great Plan. So what exactly was the Sith Great Plan, and when was this plan created? The Sith Great Plan was the driving force and impetus behind all of the Sith Order's actions and machinations from the line that began with Darth Bane and ended with Darth Sidious. The plan sought to corrupt the Galactic Republic from within and to discredit, diminish, and eliminate the Jedi Order, all for the purpose of ultimately ruling the galaxy. At the heart of the Sith Order, their focus has always been to obtain power and dominance over others at any cost, even those within the Order itself. Because of this, throughout the Sith's history, infighting and betrayal were rife amongst Sith of the Order. However, the Sith Great Plan sought to correct this by having the Sith focus their attention and energies on devoting their time and resources to a singular goal, thus allowing them to work towards eradicating those that were deemed to be enemies of the Sith Order, rather than waste their energy energies on infighting and betrayal which had plagued the Sith Order for thousands of years. So when exactly did the Sith Order conceive their great plan and begin to lay the foundations for a Sith-ruled galaxy? It all began with the reformation of the Sith Order by the hands of Darth Bane. Prior to this, the Sith Order numbered in the thousands, and because of this, as well as the nature of the Sith and their desire for ultimate power, infighting had haunted and plagued the Order, impeding them from truly being able to achieve their goal of galactic conquest. Darth Bane, however, had revolutionized the Sith Order after the conclusion of the Jedi-Sith War. The conflict between the Jedi and the Sith, which was waged during the Dark Age, the time surrounding the collapse of the Old Republic, and the formation of the Galactic Republic, roughly a thousand years before the Clone Wars. The Jedi had successfully defeated the Sith in this conflict, but, unbeknownst to the Jedi Order, one sole survivor remained, and that survivor was Darth Bane. With the Sith Order all but eradicated, Darth Bane implemented the Rule of Two, the doctrine that stated there could only be two Sith at one time, a master and an apprentice. Darth Bane understood that the failure of the Sith Order was due to their large numbers. The more Sith there were, the more their focus deviated from destroying the Jedi and conquering the galaxy, due to the vying for power and dominance amongst those within the Sith's ranks. In creating the Rule of Two, Bane assured two things. First, that one Sith Master would embody the power of the Sith, while their apprentice would crave that power power and grow to eventually usurp that power from their master. This would allow the Sith to continuously grow in strength from one Sith Master to the next, as the Rule of Two encouraged the usurping of power by the hands of the more powerful Sith Lord. Bane's Rule of Two ensured that the power of both Master and Apprentice would grow from generation to generation until the Sith were finally able to exterminate the Jedi and usher in a new galactic age. Secondly, it would allow the Sith Order to operate in the shadows, unbeknownst to the Jedi Order. In doing so, the Sith would be be able to sow seeds of destruction, turmoil, and dissent across the galaxy without the Jedi and Republic knowing who was truly behind the discord. Darth Bane's intent was for his successors to be able to amass enough power in secret to engineer the fall of the Republic and the destruction of the Jedi Order. The Sith would do so by utilizing the tools that were at the heart of the Sith Order, which were deceit, cunning, and betrayal. As such, the strength and power of the Sith would grow throughout its lineage from the days of Darth Bane all the way to Darth Sidious, all while they worked in the shadows to subvert the Jedi and the Republic with the ultimate goal of destroying both and maintaining ultimate power over the galaxy. Eventually, Darth Bane took on an apprentice named Darth Xana, and the seeds of the Sith Great Plan had been officially planted, and those seeds would fester and grow over a millennia, leading to the rise of the Sith-run Galactic Empire by the hands of Darth Sidious and Darth Vader in 19 BBY. But were you aware that the Sith Order were driven by the Sith Great Plan? Let us know down in the comments. We love when you guys interact with us. Want more Star Wars videos? Check out some of our other videos. Please like and subscribe, and stay nerdy.